Hey everyone, and welcome back to Auto Mags Bro. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Japanese sports cars and talking about a legend, the Toyota Celica. The Celica wasn't just a car, it was a symbol. From its humble beginnings as a budget sports car to its rally-dominating glory days, the Celica carved its place in automotive history. But sadly, Toyota pulled the plug in 2005, leaving fans heartbroken. A spark of hope? Fast forward to today, and the landscape of Japanese sports cars is heating up. We've got the return of the Nissan Z, the Acura NSX, and even Toyota's own GR Supra and GR86. So, the question on everyone's mind, could the Celica be next? The chairman's request. Hold on to your hats. It seems even Toyota chairman, Akio Toyota, also known as Morizo, wants the Celica back. He recently revealed he put in a request for its return, sparking fan excitement. But hold on. Before we get carried away, let's hit the brakes. While Toyota's request is significant, it's not a guarantee. He admitted that internal diversification gives executives the power to agree or disagree, even with his suggestions. So what are the chances? The truth is, the odds are stacked against the Celica. The GR86 already occupies the affordable sports car segment, and a modern Celica might cannibalize sales. Adding a high-performance GT4 version could clash with the GR Corolla. And let's not forget the possibility of an electric Celica, which might not resonate with traditional fans. Despite the challenges, there's a reason we haven't thrown in the towel yet. As long as Toyota, a true car enthusiast, champions the Celica's return, there's still a flame of hope. What do you think? Should the Celica return? And if so, what form would you like it to take? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the Celica conversation alive. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more exciting car content.